I better not see any trouble here, all right? I'm watching you. Hey, what was that? You better behave yourself. Better sleep with one eye open, heh <laughs> heh heh. You suck. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here. Newbie Dash is upon us, and if you want to see a full reaction, hit up a link in the description below. Otherwise, keep watching for my extended post thoughts. And by that, I mean a series of bad jokes, of course. Let's start. Our tale begins in the quaint village of Ponyville, whose topography is in a constant state of limbo. Enter the fair maiden, Rainbow Dash, returning from another day of meteorological manipulation. A motorized Gallus Gallus Domesticus catches her eye, and she lands to address the creature's needs. We learn that the Wonderbolts are performing for the town, now that it's home to royalty, and the Rainbow Pegasus has the honor of guiding onlookers toward their seats. Speak of the devil! Color me excited, I've enjoyed seeing Rainbow's progress toward joining her lifelong idols, and this presents another opportunity for her to show her stuff. Heck, they're in Ponyville, so maybe this episode will be Rainbow's Crusaders of the Lost Mark. You know, with an extravagant and heartwarming finish to mark a huge success and shift in her story arc. I can't wait to see what incredible obstacle she'll have to overcome to earn her spot in the Wonderbolts. We need you in the show when we get to Ponyville. What? Lying. Oh. But she's only in the reserve. Did someone break a leg? Not anymore, kid. Wait. You mean Wait. No way. You're finally a full-fledged Wonderbolt! A whole- holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well. That's that then. Cue fanboy hype. I must admit, that was a tad underwhelming. It does make sense in context, and there's honestly pretty believable reasoning behind it. But I kind of expected more flair when it comes to this subplot. Rainbow seems more the type that deserves a Gauntlet of Fire style episode dedicated to her huge career moment. Eh, let's see what happens. Back at Rainbow's Cloud House, that's something we don't see too often. The Pegasus is packing for the road. Spike is marginally better than Flint. And we learn that Rainbow's a Wonderbolt because one of the senior members bowed out to become a trainer. Okay, that's a straightforward and realistic situation. I can appreciate that. Even if I'd prefer her having to save Spitfire from the jaws of a Hydra before being accepted. Her friends wish her luck like good people normally do, and she responds like Rainbow Dash normally does. Now that my awesomeness has finally been recognized, oh my god. Know, will have to keep up or eat my cloud train. Uh, he knows you're a great flyer, Rainbow Dash. Rainbow. Also, wow, those wings are really handy. Professor Purple tries to give her a lesson in humility, and Dash replies with fashion advice. It's true though, shades do equal automatic cool. Quick cut to the training grounds where Rainbow shows off her freaky information retaining skills. Not one of my favorites, but nice continuity with testing testing 1, 2, 3. But there's one thing she doesn't remember. The first rule of the Wonderbolts is you do not talk about the Wonderbolts. Also, look both ways before crossing the street. Really? I mean, yes, that's a valuable lesson. I just hate being reminded what I'm actually watching here. Rainbow makes her way across slowly and snarkily. She's not the best at Frogger. We enter the barracks where Rainbow ogles over memorabilia. History, lore, blah blah. And we hear the Wonderbolt's motto. Soaring higher! Soaring higher. That's my other OC. Rainbow plays it cool, meets her bragging quota, and is left to prepare for practice. Spitfire informs her that the team is expecting a lot. Ooh, having the bar set high before you even begin is rough. It's ultimately a good thing because it means you've proven yourself before, but it also piles on the pressure. Rainbow acknowledges that, and then gives a self-pep talk. Alright, we're ready to attack the day. Nothing's gonna stop Rainbow Dash. The coolest, most awesome, most radical. Okay, Wonderbolts. All right. Oh no! Most smelly Pegasus in our great nation of Equestria. Of course, she forgot rule number one. Remember that the next time you try to cross the street, kids. 
This PSA has been brought to you by Ponies Against Dumb Decisions. Also, be wary of randomly appearing trash cans. They always get you when you least expect them. But, oh no! This leads to the Wonderbolts calling her Rainbow Crash, the nickname that haunted her childhood and killed her parents. Cue flashback! More like Rainbow Crash! Aw. Oh! Oh no! Aw, oh, Fluttershy! <laughs> um, her teacher is even laughing at her. That's harsh. She's been traumatized and garbage scented ever since. Also, come on, instructor. Get a hold of yourself. You're a professional. So, Rainbow's defense mechanism activates, which puts her on the offense, and Spitfire slaps the newbie down. Rainbow counters with a weak attempt at covering up her mistake, and the team finishes her off with a critical group laughter attack. And can I just say that I love the delivery for this character? It's really good at making you want to see RD take a left hook to her smug little face. So now Rainbow's self-conscious, and it affects her performance, only adding fuel to the name-calling fire. In the locker room, though, she gets some encouragement saying she'll do better tomorrow. This is a very brief but important scene. It tells us that her fellow Bolts are actually on her side, so we can assume this is hazing rather than more sadistic bullying. But because Crash goofed up the routine, she's on cleaning duty, and Spitfire emphasizes her point with a weirdly extended glare of disdain as she hovers out. It looks like she just caught Rainbow stealing from the cookie jar. Back at Cloud House, Rainbow is confronted by intruders with malicious intent. Death by party. Your best day ever party! Oh. <laughs> it's the best day ever! Rainbow starts to avoid the issue, but she thankfully spills the beans. Some of the Wonderbolts are calling me Rainbow Crash! Oh no! Isn't that the name those bullies at school used to call you? You know, after you flubbed up your flight and landed in a trash can? And then even the teacher laughed at your incompetence? And you smelled like garbage for two weeks? And later, when you wanted to go out on a date with the foil you liked, he responded with, Can you promise your perfume won't smell like rotting fruit this time, Rainbow Crash? before leaving you to fly home in the rain by yourself? And on the way, you dropped your prized Wonderbolt leg band? And before you could grab it, a hawk swooped in and stole it away? And then a pigeon pooped on your shoulder? Not that I was spying on you or anything. Pinky has come up with about three dozen worse nicknames, but AJ stops her early, and the girls give her a brilliant idea to avoid being made fun of. Time for Captain Awesome to shine. Call me dynamic! No. Because I'm so full of energy all Oh my... <laughs> what? What was that? Oh. Oh no. No. What? No. Please. Stop. Okay, I admit, there is something satisfying about Ashley Ball impersonating Ashley Ball. But this hurts me. My brain is pleading me to stop watching, but my eyes can't look away. Someone help me. Reading Rainbow. Oh. Uh, 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 your checklist, nerd. Okay, this is kind of adorable. I mean, no, bad rainbow. Ooh, what do we have here? Meow. <laughs> Dang, those wings are really handy. They don't call me Rainbow Fash for nothing. No. Uh, no. Uh, no. The Fash is for fashion. No, 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 no. Spitfire puts an end to these shenanigans. Thank goodness. Rainbow gets her official Wonderbolt jacket, coupled with an official pin, in stores now. But poor Crash feels dejected and needs to come up with a plan to undo her buffoonery. Also, adorable picture of her friends there. The group talks about being supportive and awesome and rainbows, yada yada. We should all remember to be extra supportive for Rainbow Dash 2. Yeah, we should support Rainbow Dash 2. Rainbow Dash 1, though, she can take a hike. Then Crash kidnaps this poor innocent youth for her own maniacal purposes. Oh, oh no! Oh no! She's abducting! That poor Philly. Go. This is bad. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Oh no, the cycle continues. The past is repeating itself. Twilight, 
What have you wrought? Rainbow tells the orange one to roundhouse kick a polluted pile of cotton candy in the middle of her show in order to amplify the awesome levels up to 11. This will surely fix all her problems. Nothing can possibly go wrong here. I'll wait for you. Okay, let me dissect this real quick. Lyra's homesick, so Bonbon bon decided to go out alone in order to maintain her cover. Cheerily, seeing that Snips and Snails were already here, decided to sit exactly one berry punch away from them in order to act as a decent shield. Rainbow Dash's lesser clone came to see the show as well. Rarity has herself oriented toward the left to speak to her imaginary friend who lives in this bush. Dr. Hooves has had a bit of a falling out with both Rose and Derpy, so they're giving themselves some distance. Also, I thought this was Tree Hugger at first glance and got myself excited for nothing. Wonderbolts do their thing, and then this happens. Bow chicka wow wow. Pinkie Pie is out getting cotton candy in a scene that does not in any way scream foreshadowing until its lungs run out of air. And we find out what Pony Bob Ross is up to these days. The Wonderbolts prove that they're the synchronized swimmers of the skies, and Bon Bon is absolutely flabbergasted. Over in Pinkie's corner, the Blob is getting ready to consume Ponyville. The Wonderbolts continue their sick moves, and Crash gives her signal. Operation Raincloud is a go. Operation Raincloud is FUBAR, so Rainbow takes shelter in this evergreen. Unfortunately, a pack of rabid blue jays already occupies the tree. Yes, I said blue jays. Those feathers are not naturally red. Crash Horse escapes by the skin of her teeth, only to fall right into the god of comedy's trap. Slingshot is her middle name. Rainbow Danger Professionalism Slingshot Dash. Hey, it's like that Spider-Man scene. Wait. Nope, 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 backing out, backing out. We find out that Rainbow ate the cloud earlier. There's an unfortunate and rough night ahead. Oh dear, I can't watch. Well, this is certainly a... Wait, hold on. There we go. <coughs> Sticky situation. Yeah! It's finals week, I can't actually yell into the microphone, otherwise I would. After a doctor visit, I think the nurse cured her by eating all that cotton candy. Rainbow gets berated by her captain for insubordination. Also, her mane here really weirds me out. The way it's accentuating the top of her forehead. Anyway, Rainbow replies in a very honest, heartfelt way. Just a solid character moment, admitting her mistakes and accepting any punishment that comes her way, even if it means losing her shot at glory. But the Wonderbolts respond in a shocking way, by mentioning that Rainbow's a ridiculously good flyer and a national hero. Really, this is only surprising because of how characters tend to ignore that fact in other episodes for plot convenience. Of course she's supposed to be in the group. They've just been waiting for someone to either quit or drop dead. Spitfire even tried to off Soren the other day, but he caught on to the poisoned pie trap. She should have made him apple instead of cherry. And the nickname was just a hazing ritual, common to competitive groups like this. Or at least that's what I learned from the media, I've never been a big sports ball person. Everyone has one, even Spitfire. You don't want to know what they call me. <laughs> the mayor pleaser. Mmm. So worse than crap. So, Rainbow's still a part of the team, as long as she doesn't constantly showboat. So I have a feeling the next episode opens with her being dropped from the team. And she's also on probation for a month. No alcohol, no entering foreign airspace, and in bed by 10. No bedtime stories. And on top of that, she has to make sure this dirt is spotless. But she'll do it with pride, because she's a freaking Wonderbolt. Duh! Because I'm a Wonderbolt! Aww. That makes everything better. Oh, Oh, that's... that's picturesque. Okay, this episode has grown on me a bit with repeat viewings. The first time through, I wasn't a huge fan. How suddenly it opened to Dash joining the Bolts, the awkward impersonation scene, and the doomed plan to turn things around. But there are some very simple and realistic points here that make it hold up. The reason behind Rainbow's new position is really down to earth, Ironically, the hazing that she goes through here is pretty normal, and the key is that her peers aren't trying to beat her down. They're accepting her as one of their own, even if it might seem a bit harsh to the uninitiated. 
The core problem is that it's a nickname that haunted her childhood, so it hits home in a way the others don't realize. But the resolution is similarly low-key, with both Rainbow and the Wonderbolts explaining themselves, and Dash ends up overcoming her insecurities toward making mistakes. This is a mature way to handle things, showing that the Pegasus has actually grown. And hey, she's a friggin' Wonderbolt! This is a really big deal, another character has achieved a dream established from the very beginning of the series. It may not have been another Crusaders of the Lost Mark, but this still marks a huge point and potential shift in Rainbow's character arc. Overall, I'd call it one of the better episodes for Rainbow, even if I'm sad that Wonderbolt initiation did not involve chokeholding a centaur. Seven episodes in, and nothing bad yet. Season 6 has had some nice consistency, and I hope it continues as we move ahead. Thank you for watching, everyone. Until next time. Sunglasses are automatically cool, but <laughs> maybe I'd stand on more if I didn't. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> they planned that formation. <laughs> Kinda sort of fell into a garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at the bright side. At least they didn't call you Rainbow Trash. <laughs> so you started off on the wrong hoof. That's wonderful. For every pony. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always trying to interesting information in books. Screw your checklist. I must tell you how much I just love these beautiful. <laughs> like, ever since I was a fool, I've admired the mixture of both lines oh my and contours. Saved all of Equestria like a dozen times. <laughs> of course, someone acknowledged it. I hope this works. Oh, scooting around at the. <laughs> I did not expect it to just move horizontally like that. I'm so sorry. Oh no. I was just trying to help because I can't. Oh no. Oh, so oh my much. god. Sorry, just call me Care Man. <laughs> oh, um, why me? Busy now. I can just come back. Why later. me?